Welcome to the Grim Reaper. And on that beautiful Belgium slash Swedish note, let's get to today's <laughs> mission. Now, we've just finished a whopping great campaign. It was big, it was tense, it was emotional, it was absolutely knackering, but we got it done. Um, and as happens at the end of a campaign, we have to review what we did well and what we did crap. And the things that we did crap, we have to go and work on in training. Today's training, today is naval ops. So, stand by as I give you your briefing. So, um, we are split into... Uh, the picture is now out of date because we've added a fifth carrier, but um, just bear with me. Here are five carriers. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and there's another one, another one on the right-hand side. Three flanker carriers, two Harrier carriers. Each carrier is moving in formation about a thousand and something feet away from each other at 20 knots. Um, and each carrier has a group assigned to them. We have Hammer, Buick, Sabre, Dagger, and Red 4. If you want, you can freeze frame that and have a look if you're interested. The job is to find, locate your carrier and land in your groups. You'll be on separate group comms, so you can talk between yourself about organising spacing and such. Second, arm up with full battlefield and audience or an ordnance. So imagine this is a real mission. Arm up, arm up with fuel and guns and bombs or missiles or whatever you want. Um, then do an organised takeoff, a battle takeoff. So basically, that means you've got to take off as quickly as possible. Like if you were in battle, help each other out and take off safely. This was a major problem because of bug that we found within the game lately. Uh, next, once we're in the air, we're not going to waste time doing mi the mission or even shooting each other down. We're just going to dump our ordnance, dump some fuel fly just a few miles up to the um, uh, uh, five different air-to-air -air refuelers which we've got to the north. Refuel, again it's just practicing refueling. Um, I suggest that the good guys do it first so they don't take very long and then the crapper guys go on afterwards because they'll take longer. And we'll just rinse and repeat until we are all experts in naval aviation. Now as we know Cap isn't the best carrier landing so we'll expect some accidents but we'll see. LSO today is Sherman McSherman McSherman face. So he's going to be guiding the flankers into the various carriers, so you'd have to switch properly between... Well, you figure out, Shem. Cap running towards carrier. Sabre is the middle carrier. Sabre is the middle carrier. Oh, unit. Sabre is the middle carrier. The carriers are named from left to right as they are on the spreadsheet. So from left to right as you're approaching, Hammer, Buick, Sabre, blah, blah, blah. Is that you going way up high, Cap? Negative caps uh, approaching final. Uh, Saber two turning on final for Saber carrier. One three zero. Hello, Sherman. Uh, Cavs approaching. Uh, Sabre carrier, middle one. Roger, the middle carrier, wait for Sabre, does anyone know what the circle is on my HUD? Yeah, it's the, it's telling you where to fly. You want to put that in the middle of your cross thing. Is that what you're talking about? I think, guess so. It's telling me to go up, which is a bit weird. Yeah. Well, ignore it when you're landing. Just ignore it. Just do what you Yeah, you do. have to have it in the landing mode and you have to have it targeting the right carrier. Sherman, what does the um, thing on the left of my HUD is telling me arrows and down? I can't work it out. That's your glide slope. What does the top upper one mean? The I think the upper one means you're too... Uh, I don't know, Fox Sherman. It's like one of them means you're too high and one means you're too low. I think that if the upper one's flashing, it means you're too low and it's telling you to go up. You want the green in the middle to be shining. Alright, so the rate of climb is displayed on your right. He's asking about the glide slope indicator lights uh, to the left of the HUD. Cap threshold. I don't see you. P-Man comm check 243. Cap waving uh, off. Yeah, you're good. 243 copies, 5 by 5 Close as fuck that was, boys. Right, next one, have a go. What's up, right? Not much. 243 is the correct uh, flight to flight uh, channel for Buick flight, correct? None of these fucking carriers. Uh, 243 is um, global, so 125 is 125. 125 is Buick. Okay, thank you. 
Roger, the only person speaking on Global should be Sherman if required, or any major questions. Um, Sabre, once you do, do a go-around, do the go-around on the left to make it a nice wide turn. Uh, Sherman, I'd, so those indicators on the left of the HUD, could you talk with me through them again? I, I didn't get that. Okay, so left of the HUD, there shouldn't actually be anything on the left side of your HUD, as far as I'm aware. It's the glide slope thing he's talking about, Sherman. The glide slope lights. Glide slope lights. Every plane has them, you know? The, like... Yellow oh, light you mean the little the lights just left of the HUD itself? Yeah, yeah, all the planes have them, even the sure? western one. Yes, okay. I just so don't remember which one means you're high, which one means you're low. Let's be specific, that is not, um, that's not a glide slope, that's an angle of attack indicator. It's used to indicate your glide slope, but it's referred to as an angle of attack indicator. Okay. When it's green, it means that your speed and angle of attack are ideal for a landing. If they are below, too fast, if above, too slow. Right, I have an aircraft one mile out, high of the glide slope. On glide slope. Coming high of the glide slope. In at the ramp. Good touch. Cap two miles out on approach. Alright, I'm gonna try to get in behind you there. There's only two of us, Sherman, so we'll be fine. Should be fine. Cap, for me, best thing is I just do it visually. Usually. Roger. So Sabre Carrot is the one in the middle, correct? Roger. Cap, confirm you're on final. Yeah, Cap's on a final about a mile, I think about a mile. Roger, you're left of the glide slope descending. One for that, Cap. Is that my left or your left? Keep going left of the glide slope. A little power, you're slightly low. Still left of the glide slope. That means you need to come more left and add a little more power, you're still lower the glide slope. Okay, you're now centered on the glide slope, but you're still a little low. Come right a little. Yeah, I'm coming right at the glide slope. Keep it centered. Feel like I'm high. Touchdown. Alright, Cap, get off the landing. Uh, Cap's half a mile final. Deck, you've got a second aircraft coming in. Cap one flare. Uh, no joy. Third half mile. Ah, tally, tally. You're up. Power, power. Slide check in one three zero. Good check. Four three radio check. All right, next aircraft power. You lower the glide slope. Cap rolling off. You. Next aircraft in line. Add power. You are very low. Power's on. Okay, you're climbing. Aircraft. Cap's free of, of the Still runway. Still lower the glide slope. Add power. In close. On glide slope at the ramp. Well done! Good boy! Battle line up, going okay, wings so up. All Cap check hook. Roger. Is that you in front, Berwick? No, I'm behind you. All men are static, no, uh, arm one. up, um, full fuel and ordnance. If you want to listen or to 
red four, do their columns and such, you may want to tune on to two, yeah, five, yeah, four, yeah, we will mostly be out of uh, two, five, three. Roger, I'll come and listen later after I've done a few landings. So come left. That's fine, just letting you know that that's our no, level. come right, add power. Oh, okay. Pound bombs. So, uh, cap my loadout. 4800 pound bombs. Alright. Shit. 5000 pound bombs. Good luck. Hey, good landing. Well done, boy. Thank you. Oh, right, on the center line. Lower the glide slope, bad power. DC be quite bad, so I can't actually see. Everyone who's landing on the carrier should be on this net anyway. That's interesting. The other two Kuznets also stopped in their tracks. Huh. Red 4, confirm you have an ugly duckling aboard your character. Carrier, was he meant to be there? That must have made things interesting for the 33 pilots. Cap coffee, uh, negative. We're just talking to him about it. Oh yeah, I definitely need to pick up the back. Blue one up on the bottom. Yeah. Also, guys, don't forget your uh, emergency or second stage afterburner hot key will give you more for us. Two of the carriers have stopped. Yes, we just mentioned yep. this. Oh, guys, we've only got five. Who's our missing man? What were we really expecting? We've got six men in our group, but only five have landed, so we're missing a man. Someone investigate, please. And Merlin, all with you, so who's the missing man? Hello. I just said he was the first one I ticked off. That's odd. Let's see, Sneaky. Okay, the other, the other uh, car is like, okay, we're a full group then if Sly hasn't made it. Arm up and uh, wait for my order to take off, guys. Not really much power down, here we are. <laughs> make sure your flaps are either down or make sure your flaps are down before you lift off the ramp. Um, At last that point. Go ahead. At that point, on the right side of your HUD, you should see your angle of attack or your rate of climb indicator. Make sure that is at a minimum of zero. Last time I had a problem, I was trying to take off, but the other guys parked at the front of the carrier were too close to the ramp, so we need to address that problem here today. We've got to squeeze up to the back. Well, yes, all you have to do is keep in tight formation. There is a reason that on US aircraft carrier decks, they have ground crew telling you where to go at all times. Someone just took off with his wings up. Oh no! It's fine. Yeah, today's mission is to not do that. Remember, it's slightly desynced visually, so it looks like they're taking off without wings when they're already unfolded. Roger, that's just as important to me though, because the movies look stupid when we got guys taking off with no wings. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so it's probably best we need to give you an all clear when you can go based on when your wings unfold visually. Yes. So guys, as soon as we, every time a man moves, everyone shuffle up so we're nose to tail all the time. And as soon as you're clear of that, um, of the building, um, put, open, open your wings. So we've got, you know, you've got a bit of a head start. Hello, can't get his comms working, I see. That's why. There we go, bombs are loading up. Somebody fell off the, off the Harrier carrier. Twat. <laughs> Roger, man, hold until uh, further orders. Copy. Right, so for reference, the rear launch area is indicated by those yellow, that yellow bar. I have 48 bombs on board, so... I'm gonna oh, I see. You're, yeah, you're in a world of dick. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. 
Yeah, I can't take off from here because rear man's in the way. So once uh, we're waiting until those rear guys are in place. I'm surprised he's waiting. That new park in the back of the ramp, Cap. Roger, our Cap, us at the very back. If you look at the guy to your front left, he's sitting at the rear end of the yellow bar. That's the rear launch position. I. Mm, are you sure? Here's got more space though. Yeah, you follow you the could yellow do line. it that way, but it's put there rather deliberately because of the spacing. Roger, noted changing. Right, also I just realised something. If I get visual on you, I'm going to call Paddles, which is the nickname for the landing signal officer, contact. Roger, remember no one takes off until Sherman and the guy behind you, or and or the guy behind you is confirmed. Your wings are down. Merlin, you have permission to take off and get to the uh, R carrier. I don't know the altitude, so you'll have to find F10 to find it. Copy. Rolling now. Your, wing, your wings are down. Copy. Cap asking uh, guy behind me if my wings are down. Down. Cap is rolling. Confirm wings are down. Yeah, they're down. And powering up. Boat rolling. That'll be interesting. Come on, lift your fat ass for Sasha. Oh yeah! Yeah, good man. Good man. I got my wings down. Yes, your wings down, clear for takeoff. Roger. That's for the launch of the whale off the carrier deck. Well done, boys. That's more like it. We'll, we'll get it even faster next time. Next time, as soon as you're down, start arming up. Wings down, clear for takeoff. Capsize tanker 040. Are we dumping weapons and fuel? Yeah. Yep, dump weapons and burn off as much fuel as you can to the carriers. Cap has found the right carrier. Follow Cap. Right, so there's a couple of ways to do this with the tanker. If you set up your navigation mode and get yourself cleared, or well, ready for pre-contact with the tanker, it should activate a refueling uh, nav point which will target one of the three refuel points on the back of the tanker. After that, there's another thing that you can do optionally which is to engage the automatic thrust um, on the SU-33 which will allow you to um, have the computer maintain a certain thrust level and will uh, allow you to increase it and decrease it in short amounts allowing you to stay at a relatively even speed with the tanker. Uh, I may ask how to do that in a second but Cap is now um, about to refuel. Just behind you on your six. Cap has asked for his basket. Cap left basket, left basket. Okay. Cap I left the computer like an idiot. You should see on your HUD cap the little circle that you were talking about earlier for landing. What that mode? Represents I'm on RF mode, is that right? Correct. So, it essentially it should tell you a number which would be represented where the waypoint number is. So it's either RF 1, 2 or 3 based on the tanker. In this case it will be probably RF 1. If it doesn't say RF 1, like it either says RF 2 or 3, use your waypoint cycle button to cycle to the waypoint in question. Although it seems like you don't need it because you're doing fairly well by eye. Now remember Cap, the technique here is you need to get it 
close so that your nose is just under the wing and so that when you disconnect, you pull straight up. Hmm. Where is the freaking tank? Oh, there you guys are. Uh, Signore, from you, Cap's tank uh, is... Uh, heading 101 for 20 miles. Thank you. Negative from Kara, wait one. Roger, okay, so they are heading 01646 six miles. Roger, I see him. Big gaggle. It's also worth noting that you can potentially refuel up to three aircraft simultaneously on the IL-78. Oh, we'll be doing that. That sounds great. Copies guzzling, guzzling, guzzling. Now observe how Signore has done the absolutely wrong way to rejoin with the tanker. <laughs> that was so funny. Don't you let me down, Signore. No, I just like the yeah. Maverick flyby. <laughs> if that had been the Cold War and that was a bear and you were in a Tomcat, they might have shot at you. Yeah, yeah. In fact, we need to do that, like, uh, for an introduction mission for the F-14. Instead of doing, like, an actual mission where we have to shoot down something, we just intercept a bear bomber that's going over contested borders and just escort We just have to piss them off. <laughs> There's some really fucking cool camera shots of F-14s um, basically flying in formation with Russian bears. I bet. So, Merlin on point two, and Signore, if you can get him to refuel you, he'll be point three, which is coming out of the back. Roger, I'm ready. I'm gonna get up there and uh, ask for pre-contact with my wife. Right, so it's important to remember, if Signore is behind you, you will not be able to simply exit by going backwards. You'll need to descend downward and then to your right once you're clear on the downward side. All aircraft who are currently not refueling stay above and to the left. Chicks in tow, one mile trail. What does he mean by that? Uh, maybe they, uh, they, it's not modeled right now. possible. Uh, he's, he's, it's possible that because of the size of the SU-33s, it doesn't think it's safe to have three aircraft refueling simultaneously. Yeah, he's saying chicks in tow. Alright, so for now, I'll just fly really left really to your really holding position, left right. and above of the aircraft. Sherman, what's the maximum um, this plane can carry? Uh, nine five on your fuel meter. Yeah, it takes forever, Cap. It's very scary. Again, Signore, you need to come left and slightly above the aircraft formation while you wait your turn. I'm trying to make it look cool. Yes, but it's not going to look very cool when somebody suddenly has to break away from the tanker. Everybody just nerves of steel. No sudden movement. The last time I had nerves of steel, the tanker lost a tailplane and I lost half a wing. I saw that, that was hilarious. <laughs> yes. Although on the right side, I did finally figure out some of the visual cues I need to make my F-15 refueling significantly easier. Sherman, cap is full, tell yeah. me where to go now. Tell me where to have to back off. Alright, so now just cut your thrust a little to back off. Once you're sure that the area to your right is clear, you then break off to the right and essentially hold in a holding position opposite of Signore on the right side. Backing out guys, Cap's backing out on the left. Roger. Signore's uh, slowly moving in. We're supposed to go to the right. Yeah. I know, I fucked up. Stand by. Cap going right. 
Excellent. It's good, good. You done, Berwick? No, I can't even get him to drop his basket, but I'm right on him. Right. He's, he's dropped it. This is 133, right? No, 132. We're all, one, come three, on, two. we're all lined up here. Okay, Cap and someone right. are done. Who else is done with me? Is that Merlin? Yep. Good job, Merlin. You get Cap points today. Thank you very much. Right, so now you guys are to hold opposite of where Signore was holding. Remember to cancel your refuel or abort your rejoin if um, you didn't finish tanking. Otherwise, no one else will be able to use the pipes. Cap has aborted. Uh, Sherman, how do I put this fucking pipe back in my aeroplane? It, it takes a while. Automatically. So, for some reason in the SU-33, it'll only happen after the computer has told it that it is entirely drained of fuel. This is so odd, I'm done, but he won't say transfer complete. No, he doesn't say it anymore, just ignore it, just back off, uh, and then down, and then right, watch the car behind you. That's Roger, right. Senor, he's done. Yeah, blood 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 probably uh, some pretty good footage of uh, Hamilton and Bird to, uh, to tell him to abort. Roger, refuel I'll get it later. Well. Roger, I'll get it later. Aborting, refuel, and... Alright, so you're just blocking on. Now off. that you're safely clear from him, Descend below the flight level of the other aircraft and then shift right. <laughs> is anyone is anyone doing any more refueling at this uh, in our group? Okay then, if we're done, guys, let's burn Cap back cycle. to the carriers. Roger, we're going to do a second cycle and then we'll call it a day. I'll be filming, just filming for the second cycle. All right. Use those, use, those, uh, use those bonus signore, we want to burn as much gas off as we can. Totally. Okay. Roger, I know that it my... It takes a minute for my, the fueling boom to come out. My probe's still stuck out 10 minutes later, so I'm wondering. It's the aircraft, it's not the switch. The aircraft yeah. basically waits for the boom to drain before it will retract. Ooh, is that you, Cap? Roger, I'm going to beat you there. Remember, you're trying to burn your gas off. No, you're not. I just, uh, I'm going to get you. Watch. Negative. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's no, pass someone. Let's pass Red 4. Let's pass Red 4. Yeah, let's do it. Straight over the right camera. Right behind. Please, for the love of God, don't blow yourselves up when you're over G. I hope right, they're there. Yeah, don't blow yourself up. What's your speed? Uh, nearly 1500 true. Oh, me too. Maximum speed so warning. Maximum speed warning. Yeah, maximum speed. Look, they're landing, they're landing. Yeah. To be fair, I am saying this now, I am not sanctioning this. You are not cleared to buzz the tower. I'm gaining on uh, get your co get your hot coffee ready. We're about to make it go all over your shirt. Oh shit, look at this. Ah, that's <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Pull really gently. Third in yeah. the queue. Fourth in the queue, check your right side. I'm over the carrier now. Roger. They went at home guys, they took too long to refuel the fucking slacks. Actually they just flew over the deck of the carrier behind you. Yeah, In fact, they're turning into formation with you as well, it looks like. Roger, tricky mothers. Okay, guys, heads back in the game, let's get landing. This 33 just feels like such a heavy plane. Oh, the flaps really screw you over. It is 25 tons, ignore it. Yes, do, you know, do not use yeah, those high speed. Fucking heavy. Just, it feels like a boat. Paddles, Moving contact. Around. Maneuverable boat. What's your progress? I'll call the ball. Roger ball. Roger, lower glide slope, reduce speed. Welcome aboard, get off for the landing ramp. Who can get down first, uh, ESF or Sabre? Landing ramp is clear, next aircraft is cleared in. Cap 2 mile final. I just buzzed an ESF guy. <laughs> I 
I know, don't quit your day job. Me too. I'm gonna do a head on one. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, he's like fucking moving to divert. <laughs> Hilarious. I have You're an aircraft on approach to the right of the glide slope, however, I'm unsure if he's going for the carrier to, to my left. Left of the glide slope. And Cap very Aaron. low of the glide slope. Not cap. I have an aircraft approaching uh, the paddles with gear down, air brake out, power. Power, 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 a lot of power. Right, I'm settled, getting settled now, Sherman. Paddles, contact, low and right of the glide slope. Oh, someone fucked up. Three quarter mile, call the ball. I'm um, calling your bullshit. Mean, what the hell happened to that other carrier? Everyone just blew up. In close power, lower the glide slope. In close on glide slope. At ramp, a little low at power. That felt good, Sherman. I felt in control of that all the way. Okay, just a general notice for everyone, Bure is turning in for running yeah, brakes like on the carrier. Like that was a good line, then you hit the second You'll one. get a fare for that one. Thank you. Okay. In close. Yeah, he's ready. Oh, God, the carrier's turning. Carrier Over is forward. turning, wave off. Roger, waving off. Carrier Correct. is turning, wave off. Remain in an orbit around the carrier. All units cap, uh, on for this next run I'll just be filming, so save all your pretty stuff for the next takeoff. Holy shit, the boat's turning! <laughs> yes, we did say as much. Am I hooked down, sir? Wait, one. Come on guys, ESF have got five, down four fish. down. Sabre can continue landing, we are now straight and level. Roger, yeah, Sonori can turn down. for final now. It's based on where I am, it's probably a good point. Alright, doing so. It's going to be funny. Wave off, wave off, you're way off of the glide slope. You sure? <laughs> we only went and done it. Well done, boy, whoever that was. Yeah, that was horrible. You weren't even on my cam until you were at the ramp. <laughs> that was badass. He basically followed the wake from the uh, carrier in. That would have actually been graded as yes. a fail. ESF just went around. ESF was a bolter. We've got, we've got a chance here, guys. Really shoot him down? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Come on, Signore and right Ella. Ball, you are left of glide slope. Come. No, you are right of glide slope. Come right. Roger. Ooh, gotta add a little power. Too much power. You are high of glide slope. Keep coming right. In close. Come right. God damn, Come right. 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 God damn. At the ramp. Level out. Ooh, power. Oh, bolter, 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 bolter. Short go round, signal. Go short, go round, we can still do this. Next aircraft. Uh, flanker ball 2.1. Roger ball, you are on glide slope. Cut power slightly. Come left, come right. Right of glide slope, come right. At the ramp. Bolter, bolter, bolter. Did you flare? 
I mean, that's just a touchdown long. ESF's gone round, we can still do this! Second. Oh, someone crashed. I just touched down long. Oh, there was a crash. I think that's oh, a default win. What happened to that uh, German Wonder Man? He's struggling at the moment. <laughs> the uh, aircraft carrier was turning and he got ejected off the edge. Oh, that's a shame, boys. Alright, Sherman. I'm on approach. I'm going to try to get better this, uh, better uh, approach this time. Folks turning. Okay, I believe I have you. Paddles contact. Roger. You have me. The guy next to us yes, is landing with no gear. Pull the ball. Roger, senior, he's got it. Roger, ball, right of the right slope. We have another crash. He landed without fucking gear, what an idiot. Climbing above glide slope, cut up. On glide slope, in close. At the ramp, you're sliding right. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was that was poor. In, in fact, My fun fact. In the US Navy, the only way you can actually get a good is to make a perfect landing under adverse conditions, aka okay? you had an engine blown out. Uh, Merlin, ball 1.8. Merlin, watch your ball, you are slightly high for glide slope. Merlin, uh, check carrier. Okay, you are on level with the glide slope, you are slightly right of glide slope. Okay, we're going to win it. If you land this, we've won it. Power. Coming left of the glide slope. Oh, that's looking good. Alright, lower power. Well done. Let me. I think we win, guys. All units, Sabre are down and safe. Can we confirm we are the uh, first group to do that? Buick is not on the deck yet. Well done boys, I'm proud of my boys. We even had a proper go around and it was successful, a couple of them. Cap is leaving the group just to be a cameraman now, you guys carry on as a four ship, get on up, get ready to go, and let me know before you take off. Tom, you on final.
one left in my flight, should I join any other carrier or should I stay here? Join Sabre, 130 okay. I think. 
approach that. Okay, camera is ready for uh, Red Ford and Lamb. Uh, Dumbo, just to confirm, that tanker that you're looking at is not our tanker.
have uh, come off come off frequency and uh, look like they're going to be RTBing. Poppy, we'll see you back on your carrier. Well done Reds, you can have a rest until the carriers are down and then debrief. Cap, Buick flight, we're going to do a run and break on our carrier, we're running in now. We're about one minute out from the break. Roger, joining in 40 seconds. What's all these carriers crashing? I remember Blood saying that if man in the Harrier is the easiest in the world. There were two, he just crashed, two of his men just crashed. He just crashed. Cap, you're at flight 20 seconds from the break. Coming, fucking all of Blood's men are dead.
Okay, all units uh, take off and land on the red carrier, the red carrier on the right, including cap. Okay, um, how did people think of that? That was bloody useful for me, I can tell you. Great. I, can I really enjoyed it. I can land um, now. Well, oh, there's me and Blood. Blood had a graphical glitch. Uh, yeah, the second if day. you look in media, that's what I was looking at for a good chunk of that game. Really? And then I tried to V-stall oh, wow. out full fuel, because <laughs> we only just dumped our tanks. But on the first try, I didn't do that. So, Yeah, the first try, I tried to do the thing where you hover at the side, and it was working. And then I thought, hmm, descending a bit here, let's put full power. I am at full power. Hmm. Not much you can do at that point, apart from punch out. What was the reason yeah. for that? Overheat or something? No, well, it was a combination of... Uh, I think I weighed slightly too much. Not so very you're... much, just right on the limit. And if you hold it for too long, which is what you're supposed to do in that manoeuvre, uh, yeah, overheats and you start descending very slowly. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. that... y you can do it at 20,500 pounds, but you're sort of like full chat with water, and then you've got like a minute, yeah. maybe. Um, but most of the time, people recommend dumping it down to like six, seventeen, eighteen thousand pounds if you're going to try and do like a sideways landing. Yeah, and the second time I lost track of the carrier due to, if you look at media, yeah, the uh, problem that really needs fixing. I like. Um, I noticed a lot of people were really working themselves really hard, uh, especially the refueling. Some of the newer guys working really hard. So it's good to see that. Um, it's the best way of improving, obviously. So maybe mm. it's a good mission we'll do. Uh, once a month or something like that. Yeah, it's a good one. We should do that good, more. Good, really good training it's, for people. It's really hard to um, get on the right-hand side of the, the tanker and the Harrier. How come? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think that might have been more because the um, they're in a turn, and if you're on the outside, it's a little bit trickier. I was going to say, the, the thing with the Harriers is that it's when you're trying to do like VTOL landings or any kind of controlled approach in the Harriers, you've got to be so careful of the temperatures that you're running those engines. It doesn't take much for them to start degrading. And once you get past about 3 or 4% de degradation, then you're just not going to be able to VTOL. Well, how do we sort this problem? Because we can't have 70% so losses every time we have uh, Harriers on a mission. So um, uh, option A is dump fuel. Uh, option B is to not do the VTOL landing and you do a VSTOL, so you're coming in at probably about 60 knots, uh, plus the 20 knot uh, from the carrier. So it's 40 knot closing distance, which is uh, speed, which is, yeah, enough. I mean, to, to avoid damaging the engine, just don't run it above 100%. I mean, it, the thing is, it's very easy, especially if you're dogfighting or you're on max climb out with heavy payloads or whatever, to just stick the throttle all the way forwards. But it goes up to 106%, which is designed for emergency use. So you just need to be careful of how, hot, how, how hard you're running that engine. Yeah, I mean, the, the moment you come out, the moment you're happy that you're not going to descend back to the earth, you want to pull the power back. Oh, wow. Is that is that something on the wheel, Harry? It's got like a detent in the throttle forward position, so you know you're pushing it beyond that 100%, or is it just something you've got to have a third eye on all the time? No, you just keep an eye on the... Yeah, you just keep an eye on the RPM on the right-hand side, and it, it tells you. Essentially, it reads it in thousands, but if you take a note off the zero, off the end... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I never normally run it for more. Well, you don't. I always keep it around sixty percent, unless I'm yeah, it's climbing for altitude or something silly. Because you can keep quite a good speed up at sixty percent throttle. I mean, a good general rule of thumb is keep an eye on the jet pipe temperature and keep it below six hundred. If you're running anywhere above six thirty, then you're going to be starting to like damage it. If you're running six seventy, seven hundred, then you are damaging it. All right. Well, next time we do this or something similar, we'll have a pre-meeting with the Harrier guys to see if we can achieve ninety percent. 95% success rate next time.